My name is Carl Aldinger, and I'm an anchor here at Wax News, one of the five current anchors between our two teams of reporters. I first worked alongside Alexis Marks, then by myself, and now with Brooke Meyer and Peyton Zelasco. Last year, I signed up to take multimedia production because I thoroughly enjoy this kind of work. Plus, I'm attending SUNY Fredonia next year with a degree in communications video production. Initially, I went into the class with the plan of just being a reporter, but Mr. Curran and Mr. Mashi assigned me to be an anchor. Nonetheless, I still had to produce a news story every week. My first project was a highlight reel of Jim Kelly's visit to the high school. This is really my first time using an iMac computer and iMovie totally on my own, so the first couple of stories took a little longer to produce. Since I'm involved in the theater department at school, I covered a lot of the progress of the fall play and the winter musical at the high school because I knew what I was talking about and I would always be at rehearsal to get footage. The first of these stories was a sit-down interview with Mr. Mashi about the new online ticketing system used at the middle school and high school for their performances. Then I interviewed both directors, Mr. Mashi and Mrs. Farrell, about the play during rehearsals and after the final performance as well. And later I also did a wrap-up of the musical. Meanwhile, I covered the mock flute audition of Alex Hamilton as he prepared for the real thing at Northwestern University. Sticking with music and theater, I presented some coverage of the annual NISTI conference in Calicoon, New York. Although I didn't go on the retreat myself, I talked to those who did and learned a lot of what happens during the conference. At the end of 2016, as the district was about to undergo some major administrative, administration changes, I, t I was tasked with covering the retirement of Mrs. Monticelli, Mr. Hutchinson, and his secretary, Ms. Bush. Then Alden was hit with Winter Storm Stella, so I covered the effects of that and how the community reacted. Then our class renovated its format to the new breakfast blend, and this is when I believe my work on Wax News became much more professional. We were encouraged to reach out to the community each week to bring attention to some local news, and I specifically was assigned to present the local events each week when we began the breakfast blend. I covered the renaming of the rifle range in honor of Coach Paul Borkowski, who has been at Alden for nearly 50 years. We made it our goal to bring on a guest each week, so I interviewed people such as Mayor Manicki and Mr. Stoltman about the new crosswalks in the village. I also interviewed Mr. Lyons about his long career at Alden. And Mr. Stoltman was a recurring guest, and I most recently covered the district's huge step forward with their One to World initiative, in which each student will be receiving a Surface Pro. Now, I'm most proud of my interviews later in the year, and primarily with our breakdown of the budget. That episode in particular, as well as my recap of the musical, received the most positive response from the community. The budget coverage was a big challenge because it was the first time we did actual, more professional news. Plus, that episode was our most productive all year. In terms of editing actual footage, as I said, it was a learning process throughout the year. I definitely have learned how to edit smoother videos, frame a better shot, and since I'm an anchor, I've learned to conduct much more professional interviews. My earlier interviews would always end very awkwardly. Uh, I've also grown past writing and filming my story so that I was in the camera shot each time. I've created more professional videos where I simply had to do a voiceover while B-roll is playing over the audio. I would say for students considering taking the class, they need to understand one major thing. Your stories, including the video and article, count as your grade. It's the same as writing a paper or doing a project for any other class. The class is very fun, but also very fast-paced. We need to be able to be flexible with our schedules because the ones that we're interviewing are only available at certain times, obviously, and we have to be able to keep up with the news that's going on in Alden. That was probably my biggest challenge, finding the time to keep up with my story. If I could have devoted more time to the class, I probably would have created higher quality stories, but of course, I had to balance my other classes with this. Hopefully when I do start my actual career after college, I will produce better work because I won't have other classes to spend time on as well. Overall, I definitely learned to create smoother, more professional stories and act much more professional as an anchor as well. This class helped me become a stronger leader while also having fun and trying new things at the same time. There were countless long-running jokes off camera, and this class benefited me greatly, and I would totally recommend it for anyone who wants a hands-on, engaging, fun-filled, and non-conventional classroom experience.